Moving on over to game four, which looks exciting. This is a board where it's just like, wow. Caravan, Hamlet, Harvest, Ironworks, Lighthouse, Loan is there. Possession, the Scrying, Full Warehouse. Um, the weak part of the board is that Loan is the only trash name, so I would definitely pick up Loan straight away and maybe pick up a second on the next rotation through my deck because this board is so powerful that thinning your deck is going to be super important. I think I open Ironworks Loan. Um, the loan combos with the Ironworks a little, and the flips your deck a tiny bit faster, which gets you the Ironworks cards a tiny bit faster. It's just a small thing, but it adds up. Ironworks loan, planning to shift into a grind pool caravan based engine. You won't need a ton of caravans because you can you know, get rid of all the chaff in your deck, except for a few estates. But the scrying pool, they're going to draw you so many cards that whatever. And then play a ton of possessions. Hamlet is not a real village, but it's a good enough village, especially since you're going to have to draw the estates anyway. So that is what I would do, and just be playing two possessions a turn and winning. It looks like... That is what Glocks did too. Let's see if he opened the exact same way. Ironworks Loan. Talisman. I don't think it's quite as solid as Ironworks on this board. I guess the reason would be it's just not as flexible. Um, all you can really do is get double caravan with it, and that's like what you're committed to. But you don't even need many caravans to flip your deck because you just crying pools. Which I'm pretty sure Talisman doesn't double for you. And you know in your bite phase you're going to want to pick up Possession. Stuff like that. So yeah, I don't like Talisman quite as much. Get the Hamlet going. Hamlet here too. Okay. Clock does get another... Oh no, he didn't buy that. He just played it. Take it all back. You see that it flips your deck a little faster, like I was saying. Buys a harvest. Um, harvest gives you money for each different card on top of your deck when you play it. I've never played a deck with harvest in it before in my life. Um, I guess I can see it. If you get enough actions from Hamlet, the problem I'm envisioning is that you might quite frequently draw your entire deck and then harvest for nothing. You have to be able to harvest during your deck cycling, which relies on you. Well, I guess your draw cards aren't terminals anyways. Yeah, yeah, I think harvest is fine. Maybe caravan is better. Gold, so we're already ramping up to being able to buy possession. Actually, you know, I like a potion there. Take it all back. Potion so that you can get the scrying pool sky. Caravan, warehouse, seems fine. Iron working for potions. So did get that. Yeah, so Yasarian's just trapped buying double caravan, which isn't going to get him too far. Five. I guess there are no real fives on this board. Scrying pool is so good. I like it. Getting another two caravans. Like you're going to be able to draw your deck and then it won't actually do anything. Unfortunately. Caravan harvest. Getting four bucks. It's pretty swell. Loan. Discarding two estates. It's pretty swell too. It's all sort of coming together. 
Glox has a really solid deck going here, for sure. And she's able to Ironworks for uh, an extra card, buy possession, and some, and play possession. Sorry, it just scoops it up pretty quick after he watches Glox take all of his turns. Okay. So that was a bit of a route. I think the early game decision was just perfect and led to a one. <laughs>